Welcome to Tech Back Control episode two. This episode is for the designers and the creatives. It's all about the artwork and branding for Tech Back Control. If you're not into design or this just isn't your cup of tea, feel free to skip it. I won't be offended. But if you're just a tiniest bit curious about, you know, the considerations and process I went through to create the logo and the artwork, stick around, indulge me. It might be interesting and it might give you some clues for what I've got planned next. First things first, the name. Take Back Control is obviously a play on the slogan Take Back Control, popularised by the Leave campaign in the run-up to the referendum for the UK to leave the European Union. It's kind of on the nose and it's not meant to be political, but the idea being that we can take back control from tech with tech. That's about it. I went with the aqua, turquoise and blue colour palette because I wanted something closer to nature but also bright neon to tie with the technology theme. So we kind of imagine Tron meets the ocean. And in terms of layout, the word tech sits in the bright, synthetic, harsh, neon aqua background, whereas the words back control sit in the softer, more natural midnight green background behind them. The midpoint of the colour change between midnight green to neon aqua isn't actually at the vertical centre, even though at a glance it probably looks like it is. It's actually a few pixels higher, encroaching slightly into the tech space of the artwork, which is the most overly subtle symbolism. And someone asked me recently if you meant to pronounce the control as control. <laughs> um, obviously not, but the word control, which is spelt full in the name of the podcast and on social media and websites, is changed to CTRL, which was actually inspired by Jen, my wife, when we were trying to get inspiration for the artwork using Midjourney as a generative AI tool. She went down a whole rabbit hole of generating images on people stealing the control key from a giant keyboard. Visually, it was crazy, and if you join the Discord, you'll see a lot of the weird experimentation that went into it. By the way, as a side note, I've added Midjourney to the Discord, so feel free to try it out. There's a link in the show notes. I'm going to try and make each episode's artwork using Midjourney, and also make those images available as artwork on the merch store. Anyway, back to the use of CTRL in the artwork. It works on multiple levels. Visually, it keeps the balance between the three words, four letters per row, but it also works at a metaphorical level because you're not just taking control, you're taking the control key. And I kind of like that symbolism. Keys are very important, especially in software and cryptography. And the idea that you're taking control of that key was kind of cool. But hey, maybe I'm reading too much into it. The final detail in the artwork is the E in the word tech. That capital E has been replaced by the 14th letter of the Greek alphabet, XI, which I think is the X sound in Greek. It does look a lot like a capital E though, so much so that the Ethereum core developer community adopted it as the symbol for ETH, almost like the pound or dollar symbol equivalent. So there's a crypto Easter egg in the word tech, which I enjoyed a lot. This podcast and project will lean heavily into the power of crypto and Web3 internet as a force for good. So I really had to sneak it in there somewhere. So yeah, that's it for this week. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know. If you know other people who would find this interesting, feel free to share it. And if you didn't enjoy it, don't worry. This isn't always going to be about design theory and symbolism. There's much more to come. Until next week, stay safe and keep on learning. The attention economy pits you against me. Money makes no sense these days and the robots to take a job. The planet is in peril, but we can set us free. Put our brains together. If we lead with our hearts Gotta take back control From the greedy and the corporate Gotta take back control To the hands of the people Collaborate and listen We learn and we grow Build the future that we want